This is Twit. What is the fate of X86 now? Because an X86, let's face it, it is antiquated. Intel <laughs> wanted to move off it 10 years ago with <laughs> Itanium. And only because <laughs> Intel's fabs failed, they couldn't do it. They had to go back to the drawing board with x86. That thing's been moribund for a decade. And by the yeah. way, even Linus Torvald said the only reason you don't see more ARM Linux is because servers aren't yet running ARM. Well, guess what? Mm. Yeah, servers man. are moving to <laughs> ARM. And yeah. so Linux will move to ARM painlessly. It already runs on ARM. It already runs fine on ARM. So that's going to be a painless transition. Um, I don't. I hope Windows can make that transition, but I think really the real bottom well, line on this is RIP x86. Yeah, no, you're right. I, I, Windows can, of course, make this transition. The thing that holds back Windows is that thing I brought up up front. They can't say Microsoft can't say goodbye to anything. We've spent the past. I mean, you can go all the way back to 2012 and Windows RT, and then you go forward to Windows 10 on ARM and Windows in S mode and. These container things that are coming in Windows 10X, or maybe they're just coming in Windows. Like they have been struggling with how do we move forward while bringing forward everything. <laughs> Whereas Apple has always been, well, how do we move forward? You know, and they've been much more aggressive about cutting off old technology. <laughs> Ten years ago, twenty years ago, when Mac OS 10 first came out, the story about Apple would have been, well, yeah, but they can do that because you know they're a smaller company; they don't have as many customers. It's easier. Uh, their customers tend to be more engaged and, and li will, able and willing to do what Apple says. Today, Apple is the mass market. They have 2 billion customers. I, you can't make that argument anymore. They're still doing it. <laughs> it's just good mm -hmm. leadership. I mean, what, don't we? at some point, don't we just have to admit that? Here's where you know, they're I like, mean, Microsoft, they're the Microsoft kind of lost out. They had mobile. Yep. Uh, they lost in mobile. And then all of a sudden, Apple is too, you know, I mean, most 99% of that 2 billion <laughs> It's this is an iPhone, right? Uh, but so, what makes sense? What's our strongest product? iPhone. Well, great. Let's let's draft off that, and that's basically what they're doing. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, the future of Microsoft is literally in the cloud, and it's the cloud. You know, I, I, I right. you, you just, you just said something that reminded me of something. You know, people talk. If you think about the video game business, Microsoft has lost in the console wars the last three, only three generations it's ever competed in. People say, well, why is Microsoft still in the, uh, the gaming business? And it's because, well, the future is, is in the cloud. And that's where they have a strength. Like, they'll probably do pretty well in that, actually. They're not going to do well in consoles. They'll probably do good. In, and that's, you know, you're making lemonade here. It's like life has handed you this basket of lemons. And this other thing becomes the future. And it's not the Windows Office stuff that we remember from the 1990s. And that's what Apple did, too. Apple was failing with the Mac. They didn't. It wasn't going to be the future of the company. And they started looking into these little mobile devices, starting with the iPod, and then the iPhone, and then the iPad, and then the Apple Watch. And, oh, my God, they're the biggest company on earth, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, they, they made lemonade. Mm -hmm. So, what? you know, whatever. I mean, Nintendo used to make board games or something back in the, <laughs> the day. Companies <laughs> change over time. Um, yeah. But I, I, I don't know. I Look, I care about Windows so much. And I... I hate to see it. It is like. I think Windows on Apple Silicon is a great idea. <laughs> no, Parallels. I, you know, I, I, no, I, I, I buy into it. Look, the, the future, look, it is in the cloud and it is uh, heterogeneous devices and it is you bring your own services, whatever, you know, whatever combination of things you like to use. I, I, I admit that the future, in, in some ways, it doesn't matter, you know, what people are going to use and we'll right. see what happens. But I'm still, whatever, I'm 53 years old. I grew up with Windows. It's what I know. It's what I care about. And I see something like this, and it's like watching Muhammad Ali get in the ring for the yeah, last time. You're yeah. like, why are you still fighting? Yeah, that's right. You are just uh, you're just getting the shit kicked out of you, but, and it's embarrassing. But, Paul, it's not Microsoft. It's not Windows. It's x86. Let's really, I mean, really, that's what's yeah. happening. Okay. That's, yeah. And that's not yeah. so, I'm not that attached to x86. Surely you're not. <laughs> No, no, not at all. I, I mean, mean I, uh, uh, honestly, no. it's not. There hasn't been a mobile device running on an Intel x86 processor. Yeah, I know. I know. So, uh, someone today in the comments said something like, uh, you know, Android runs can run on x86 as well. <laughs> and yeah, you're right. But, but today, 
it does that for <laughs> um, virtual or for emulation environments for developers. Yeah. It's the only reason I you'll never find anyone shipping no. an, uh, an Intel based. Uh, I think the Android writing device. has been on the wall. It's just we haven't yeah. caught up to it. I mean, when mobile took over, really, mobile's the how what percentage of computing is now mobile? Far more than half. I don't know what the number is. Probably eighty or ninety percent. Oh, it's way more than that. Yeah, yeah. no, it's way more. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, an x eighty six has oh, zero seven, place in eighty percent of all computing. Even in computing? a bad year, Leo, mobile sells over eight times as many devices yeah. than PCs. It's not yeah. even close. So you're saying, I mean, that's that's the writing on the wall. It's been the, and Intel yeah. struggled. They want they tried with scale, the M scale. They wanted to make mobile. Oh, right. Say so, hey, by they the way, couldn't. sorry, I just wanted to. To, to someone's point, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't remember who. Um, yeah, I, the the point of Windows 10 on ARM originally was to get Intel to wake up, right? In other words, if Intel had created a lot, like just this past month, they released a a big, small chip design that's kind of like ARM with like one big core and four small cores. That's what Microsoft wanted Intel to do 10 years ago, right? Like, mm. be you have to be able to compete with ARM. And Intel was like, look, more gigahertz, you know, and it's like, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. But we need this other thing. You know, you're supposed to be the market leader. You should be able to do this. They couldn't even hit 10 nanometers for four years. So, I mean, that was the point. I mean, like another from Microsoft's perspective, maybe I did say this. Microsoft didn't care who won or if anyone won. They just wanted the industry to get to this place. The problem is Apple, by controlling the entire widget, the entire stack, can just take their ecosystem to this place and they just did it's a huge advantage yeah and i don't think necessarily it means windows can't come along for the ride i don't know what the problem i mean okay there's another problem which is that qualcomm sucks too <laughs> that's the real problem if there were a company making arm chips as good as the, you know uh, apple well but you you kind of implicitly raised this issue so here's qualcomm they control the non-Apple part of the mobile world. They literally are probably 80 to 90% of it. That market is 80 to 90% of the personal computing market. How much effort are you going to put in grabbing that last little 10% right. that Microsoft has? I mean, who cares? Who cares? Like, if this fails, yeah. You know, who cares? I, I do think we're going to see ARM PCs I, 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 and, and, or, and Intel-style ARM, you know, ARM-type PCs, but and Chromebooks too, right? I mean, and Linux PCs and... and this has to happen, but this might be, I mean, this is like the, this really has the feel of a don't look back moment. And I, I'm, I don't know. Remember before this happened, we talked about this going to be a, some spectrum of possibilities from, eh, we're not really doing much to, oh my God, we're going all in. And they really, they really nailed it on the far end of that spectrum. That tells me that they're super, this is a conservative company. You know, they make a lot of stupid press claims and everything. But, I mean, they don't announce stuff until it's, like, they're, they're sure about it. I mean, they've had, you know, they make mistakes. But, like, this is this is architectural. I mean, this is serious. Don't, hearing you guys talk about this, um, the thing that keeps coming back into my mind is part of what's shrinking is the PC form factor, right? Like, that's the part of the market that's contracting. Whether you call it laptops, ultrabooks, PCs, clamshells, whatever – so yeah. does it really matter if they're winning in a market that's shrinking? Because who do, who is going to well, be using a PC in 10 years? Like right now, none of my nieces who are in their 20s care about even having a PC. And I don't think if Apple made one, that would convince them to, to take it. It's just that they but, don't see the need for that form factor, right? But do they ever have to write something or use a spreadsheet or make a presentation or... I Whenever mean, they do, they like go to work and use the PC that's at work. But it's so seldom. It's kind of like printing at home anymore, right? Like some people still print at home sometimes, but how many? Oh, absolutely. Do anymore, well, right? I, by the way, so not to get off on, on that tangent, but I mean, people who are working from home now or have kids yeah. from school projects might be printing from home. I mean, I I don't that's print true. personally, yeah. but but yeah. yeah, no, I mean, I I have felt for a long time that as PCs become the secondary device. Um, they're less necessary. They don't get updated mm -hmm. as often. But right. sometimes you need the big screen, the keyboard, the mouse, you know, because you're doing something yeah. that is a little difficult to yeah. do on a tiny screen, whatever. So, yeah, they're still yeah. necessary. But um, but then there are the special use cases of gaming, um, right. software development, Design. Uh, engineering, right. yeah, all that architecture, yeah. whatever. 
Um, yeah. and, and we can think of that as kind of a workstation class device. Mm-hmm. I mean, I feel, you know, there'll always be the need for that. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't that's know. pretty small, people, right? <laughs> uh, it's small, but it's lucrative. See, and that's kind yeah. of where Apple yeah. excels, right? I mean, the, right. the, we have a premium PC market right now because of Apple. Right. Uh, the other PC ma- makers saw how Apple was killing it with even small mm-hmm. market share. Right. And they all said, we got to get involved in that, you know? Yeah. Like and Surface, some of them do pretty right? good jobs. That's why Microsoft yeah, came in. Yeah, Surface is one of those. Yeah. HP has premium uh, yeah. Elite books and uh, Spectres yeah. and stuff. Uh, all of them do. ThinkPad is one of those companies yeah. or one of those brands. Yeah. Um, I, but, you know, uh, I don't know. The Steve Jobs uh, car truck thing is kind of interesting in retrospect because, of mm-hmm. course, trucks are the best selling vehicles in the world. And uh, But, you know, so we have to come up with a different comparison. And, like, yeah, you know, what is so what is Windows now? Is it like a electric bicycle is it a motor moped what are we talking about here yeah. like a yeah. a donkey with a blanket on it <laughs> i mean like where i don't know it's yeah strange. i guess i guess i feel like we're we're thinking about the market as growing just because apple is now in it right but i don't think that's actually the yeah. right way yeah. to think about it I right. think the market's going to keep shrinking even if apple's in it and so okay microsoft's share may go down but microsoft cares less and less about the PC space as we always talk about on the show and care more about people using the cloud, right? Well, so So. what I've heard privately is that Panos does intend to make a big splash with Windows that there's fun stuff coming and I want to get excited about it, you know, but I look at Windows today and I think what this thing really needs is not excitement and new. It needs consistency, efficiency, It needs right. what Apple just did, which updates that don't that break ever. when they come out. Oh, you know, yeah, that'd be the nice. basics. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Microsoft talks a good game about privacy, right? Uh, Apple does yeah. too, but Microsoft still yeah. gives you a Windows OS where you can't turn off all the tracking. Can't right. turn it off. There's not even a secret way to do it. There's just no way to do it. Yeah. And um, it, it's, you know, it's a big difference between talking about something and then doing it. 